Greetings, Guardians, and welcome to the Voices of the Vanguard. My name is Thomas, and with me today is Sully from Sully Games. Say hello, Sully. Hello, Guardians. And today we're going to talk about some corridors of times. Like that whole thing went down between last recording and this recording. A lot uh, went down, actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't have it currently pulled up. What what else do we have for our uh, topics? I mean, topics. We have that. We have... Uh, should Bungie make some changes to the roadmap? And since we got Bastion early, we won't actually be receiving any co new content for a few weeks. All right. Um, so quickly, do you want to talk about what you've been up to in Destiny? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, right now, I've just been playing, once again, more Crucible. Been playing some Iron Banner. Been actually doing... Pretty good, which I'm kind of surprised about. So Iron Banner is typically a lag fest for me. I don't think I've played a match of Iron Banner yet. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. No, yeah. I've just been kind of. I've been so in the like mood to just play PvP, so I just keep playing PvP after PvP. So. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I haven't been doing a whole lot. Just been playing other games. And uh, just been helping you and some other people with raids every now and then. Yeah, I'll probably do some raids this weekend. I know <coughs> Redeem wants to do uh, a Scourge. I know he was trying to get one to go yesterday, but I was so busy. Yeah. Yesterday with Arrow, so. Uh, so that's, that pretty much covers it. <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot. I mean, we're in a kind of a... A drought. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> alright, thoughts on the quarters of time. Okay, so... Man, where do we begin? Uh, last time we were start. talking about it, uh, they are in the middle of, like, uncovering this map, and it took, like, I don't even know how many people, but a bunch of people... Uh, every hour, basically checking the their whole, map. A lot of the community. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and piecing together all these map pieces to find uh, what was at the end of it. And what was at the end of it was your tomb, a nice speech from uh, from uh, Saint-14, and also the start for the quest to Bastion. <clears throat> and a lot of people got angry about this. Understandably so. Yes. Uh, so have you even have you even bothered? Let me ask you this: Have you even bothered get, uh, getting it yet? I haven't. I, as I said, I've been super busy, and then when I do hop on, I've been either raiding or playing Iron Banner. That is something I am mm -hmm. going to focus on, either tonight or sometime tomorrow. I'll get Bastion, and I'm going to get the final war pieces that I need to, because actual the quarters of time actually closes on Tuesday. So like, yeah. to get. You only have till Tuesday to get all 19 more pieces. So I've been just kind of doing that. Felt like that was probably more important. But I am going to actually get that sometime Friday. Because I actually hear it's pretty good in PvP. So like... Yeah, that's what I'm hearing too. Um, I got I, I got Bastion. I also have all the lore pieces and the emblem. Um yeah. Again, haven't tested it in PvP, but PvE, it's kind of whatever, because, I don't know, I feel like I'm either hitting two out of the three or one out of the three. I don't hit all three. <laughs> I don't I guess that's just on my playing. I don't know. I have to get used to it. I haven't used it a whole lot, but not particularly impressed in PvE. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like that's going to be kind of like a PvP weapon, but I... Could be wrong, but we'll see. I'll give it a try when uh, <clears throat> I pick it up Friday. And Iron Banner would be a good spot for it to be like the practice. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. What What are your thoughts on on that whole debacle? Uh, there's actually a lot. I think a lot of good and a lot of bad. Um. For one, like, congratulate to the Destiny community by figuring out this. I've never seen anything like this in a video game with this puzzle. 
like absolutely insane like <clears throat> the amount of people it took and the brains to figure this thing out is mm -hmm. insane and honestly also like I think this was a really cool a really cool idea by Bungie but the communication wasn't there so, like, I feel like they should have either spoke, because, like, they've been fairly, really specific with their roadmap. Like, so, like, there hasn't been anything that hasn't missed. Nothing has never been, like, a secret. Like, everything, basically, that comes out, hey, we know about. Well, all of a sudden, we have this crazy thing. Some random person's like, hey, I'm going to go see Osiris for some reason oh god osiris has a quest line like what what's going on here mm -hmm. like so like <laughs> bungie should have known like stuff was gonna happen like and once people started kind of get their theories out there on potentially you know a new exotic that wasn't on the roadmap you know maybe like something similar to like a whisper to, uh, you know, outbreak and theories, expectations, and then like once the community figured this crazy puzzle out, which I believe it was what Monday morning was when it was finally discovered. Something like that, yeah. Um, when it was Bastion, I think it was just kind of like really underwhelming for the community because <laughs> they're like, well, like. We were already getting Bastion, like, mm -hmm. like what, like why Bungie, and like, so like I felt like <clears throat> if Bungie would have actually like communicated, or if we didn't know about Bastion, I feel like the outcome for the community would have been a lot more positive instead of like, why, like deal like you know like because yeah. like honestly like I, this is something i would love to see like again because like i've just see the community come together and try to figure this thing out was insane like watching people like glad and everyone lana like you know streaming this trying to figure this out i'm always on twitter people posting updated maps you know talking about this thing it was like really nice to get content it was hard like really hardcore content like content that like i don't necessarily like i would probably not get involved with but like i kind of like to keep my eyes on because like this is like really fucking cool mm -hmm. like i would love to see this happen more often like <laughs> once or twice every year with like bungie when we have these like community stuff because like when the community gets together and like is trying to figure stuff out it's i think some of the best content bungie can put out there yeah. like hands down but yeah just the communication on this like with hey like I, like you had to know like bungie like you know those developers you know they're on twitter you know they watch some of their favorite content creators on twitch or mixer you know they're on Reddit. Yeah. So, I just want to know, like, like how were, they, like, what were they thinking once they started seeing, like, all these theories? Like, everybody thought we're gonna be seeing some new exotic sword, and people thought they're gonna bring back previous exotic swords. Galahorn. Galahorn. Vex Mythoclath. I mean, like, literally every. Like, I even saw like people were talking about a potentially guardian coming back yeah you know <laughs> it was like, the, wild, the wildest one i thought i was like well <laughs> that's kind like, of so like there's uh, there was multiple stuff and like once everything kind of got like just so built up and like the community's like head like this is like gonna be something special and then it happens to turn out to be like bastion like come on like 
that I think that was just kind of like the killer for everyone. Then it was like basically like available for every like all you had to do is go see Saint fourteen on Tuesday. And <clears> yeah, a day later, time. you didn't have to run like, through the puzzle. Like, but that was because they figured it out on a Monday. Yeah. So, but and still, like, it's kind of like a kick in the nuts. But, but that's where I think like okay, like maybe if Bastion was it around and be like okay so here's this puzzle you the community figure this out once it's figured this out this quest line will then appear for the people that you know aren't you know involved you know trying to do like the map stuff like so there, there should have been better communication by far with Bungie like I think if there was better communication I feel like there would be a lot more positive outlook from the community. Because I don't know if you've seen, like, how pissed off the community is with Twitter. Like, a whole lot. Like, yeah. I follow a bunch of Destiny 2 people. And, like, I mean, a lot of them are upset. And I've seen a lot of people kind of say, like, the community's the kind of blame here for, like, building this up. I, wasn't it Baz that posted, like, a spoiler for Bastion? Like... A week before this launch. no i think it was the like once they figured it out he posted the spoiler that it's bastion okay and like or no wait wait, wait. that was yeah he's posted the spoiler for bastion for the uh for the spire bounties that's what it was okay so and <clears throat> i think definitely there i do think both sides are kind of at fault here because once again the community Hyping something up just a little too much and then realizing it wasn't what they wanted it to be but I feel like if there was better communication or we didn't know about Bastion I feel like the outcome would be positive but be a little bit more positive I feel like maybe Bastion if it was Bastion and we didn't know about it I think the community would be kind of like okay this is cool like it's like new exotic but it's not quite like what we wanted like we wanted to see a new exotic sword or a previous weapon come back from d1 into yeah. d2 so i do think both sides are at fault here and i do think there's still a lot of good i mean to see the community come together and figure this insane puzzle out like i, I don't even know where like begin with like <clears throat> trying to solve something like that like, and to be able to, like, for Bungie to be able to, like, develop that and code that, like, was fantastic. Like, I would love to see more of that. Just give me better communication. Yeah, that's insane. Um, I, I'm i a little less on the fence with uh, than you are. I think it's really, I think it's really shitty that Bungie just made it so that it's just, uh, a weapon that you already like that was teased on the roadmap that was gonna and be that's later. what like I'm the communication <clears throat> yeah because if you didn't know about Bastion I feel like the community would be a little bit it would be positive because it's something that we didn't know that was there yeah but like to know like it was already th like we knew it was coming and then the issue for it to be was it didn't arrive on the scheduled date of the roadmap, and Bungie's been so strict with everything, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever's on the roadmap is, we know the dates, and yeah. every time it launches in. So I don't know if, like, Bungie thought that this was going to take longer than, you know, five days, which, I mean... You would think they would know by now with how crazy the Destiny community is with coming together and figuring stuff out. But, yeah. That... Personally, they just need to get better communication when they're doing stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it sucks because it's like the best puzzle they've, like, the most intricate puzzle they've made. And it's for something that we already knew was coming. And we were gonna get anyways, so like yeah, yeah, like you said, if it wasn't, if it wasn't on the roadmap, I think people would have been taking it a lot better. Um, it's okay, a new weapon we didn't know about, right? Like that's cool. Yeah. Um, agreed. 
But yeah, man, that's it's kind of like a, a wet fart, you know? It's like... <laughs> You love, you love it. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my that's my thoughts on Bastion. Or at least the uh, the quest to get it. Yeah, because I mean, this is by <coughs> far one of the coolest things I think Bungie's put out. And because we talked about it, was it last week? No, it was two weeks ago with Devil <coughs> Ruin. And just on how... Mm-hmm. Like, we needed more secret stuff to appear than all of a sudden, Tuesday. Yeah. Like, we get a secret, but then it turns out to be something that... Actually knew about, but then they just pushed it out early for some reason. Mm hmm Yeah. So, but... Um... Yeah, so that's our thoughts on that. Um... Yeah, we kind of talked about should Bungie change the roadmap. They've changed roadmaps mid-season before. Like... Think about the annual pass where you just saw the three things, the three um, seasons, and you yeah. like all of them were redacted for the first for the last two, and then you'd see some some of the stuff for uh, the first the, the first season coming, and then they would unredact some things as they went along. Um, I I think last year or last season they were way better with their communication and content than this year so far, but we'll we'll see. Um, my, I think my issue with I think what it would be best is obviously I think you should kind of keep out like when they have like Sundial and like the new bosses appear like that's really <coughs> cool or like when Heroic would launch yeah okay kind of keep that because like you already know about it like there's really not a whole lot of just secret you know maybe just kind of like weapons that are in there and just like random shit um, and it would just say like, it would just say like exotic quest would be the uh, would be the thing you know. Like, I would I would eliminate any exotic quest. Yeah. I would just have no exotics on the roadmap because then I feel like it <clears throat> it would help lower expectations for like when a new exotic would like I think randomly appear. I think like, the next time they're going to do that is going to be in the summer. Because it seems like that's their MMO, MMO so far. Yeah. Is like, Whisper was, like, what, June, July, something like that. And then, same with, uh... uh Outbreak. Outbreak, yeah. So, yeah, I just... Or, I mean, even if you just want to show off one exotic, or even, like, at that point, you could also do... Like, if you feel like dropping, having, like, bringing back an exotic and just putting it as, like, an RNG... Or if you made a new exotic, like, and have it just as a world drop instead of doing a quest line, you're, you would able to be able to do that then. Instead of, okay, well, this exotic is now available on this day. You don't have to worry about making a quest line if you don't want to. Isn't that what they did with uh, some exotics from Destiny 1? Where they just made it a, a drop from, like, a bounty or something? Yeah, well, there were basically uh, quest lines. <laughs> there was Thorn, uh, Vective, Pocket Infinity, and maybe Bad Juju. I think Bad Juju, because there was four of them. And it was basically like you would save up like all your bounties, like not necessarily like this is what confirmed like you're a guaranteed what one but like you would save up all your bounties and like turn them in at once and like occasionally like an exotic bounty would drop and that would was basically a quest line be able to get you know whatever <clears throat> exotic weapon uh yeah so now <laughs> our next I'm, I'm really bad at this our next topic is uh, no new content since so Bastion is out early. Um, yeah, I think we have. It seems. It seems weeks like. Now. Yeah. It seems like they just pushed out the uh, the dates longer now. Because before it was was it was going to be last week and this week that was going to have nothing. Now it's just this week and next week is going to have nothing. Yeah, well, I guess no, this I week think... has Iron Banner, but if you've already done Iron Banner, then what's the, there's no real point. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like no. <clears throat> I was kind of maybe thinking that they thought it was going to take us longer to figure that whole 
thing out, and so maybe that's why they did it. Mm -hmm. And there was such content drought for new stuff, but at the same time, I think they should have known better, knowing this community would have <clears throat> come together to try to figure this thing out. Like, but yeah, I mean, I'm kind of interested in see on what numbers look like for these next two weeks i mean with nothing really new coming out you mean you have iron banner this week but other than that really no reason to hop on and in my opinion to really play destiny unless you're just like a huge fan or you're still grinding for old stuff like somebody like you like you really have no need yeah that's yeah. why i'm that's why i'm playing other stuff at the moment Pretty much. Do you have every exotic now since you have Anarchy? Yeah, 145 out of 145. And I didn't know if you had Terabyte or not. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's really... <clears throat> no point. And at the same time, I mean, that's also, this is a good time to kind of step away and play other things and don't get burned out playing Destiny, because when there's <clears throat> little content, sometimes it's get really burned out yeah i wasn't game. even bothered doing the pinnacles for a while there uh finally got my first 970 piece of gear so oh. whoop <laughs> kinetic, uh, right? what is it a kinetic i think it was a uh, mark a titan mark yeah oh, yeah. Uh, yeah i got a bunch of armor from the last raid we did in guardian it's pretty good oh, wow. <laughs> I'm Kane over here. I just only get armor drops, and everybody else can have the energy weapons. <laughs> Kane. Mm hmm. Still in all your armor. <sighs> you pet, though. <laughs> God forbid. Uh, Alright, so let's go over Twab this week. The Twab. Uh, so you've read over it. Uh, I'll let you take the steering wheel. Uh, I mean, I kind of read over it. I mean, they had a developer kind of talk about <clears throat> the process of this whole puzzle stuff. It's like super, 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 super long. Like, it's four and a half paragraphs. Um... Alright, so we get Bungie, the pass was found. Uh, the quarters of time have been charted. Guardians from around the world look on the momental challenge of navigating time itself. Some losing their minds in the process. Or progress. I wonder who that was. Uh, we never shipped a puzzle of this size before. And watching the community engagement was a thrill in itself. We've seen few requests for commentary on the creation of the development of this puzzle as always we're happy to invite you behind the scenes and share some of the thinking that goes to experiencing or experiences you play and then he like trying to just goes on for more paragraphs about this whole thing so I'm actually gonna skip that all right the big thing is the uh, performance pass We'll be receiving this next week. I'm assuming we receive all of our patch stuff is on Thursdays, I believe, correct? Um, the last one was Thursday, but it was supposed to be Tuesday. Okay, so maybe on Tuesday we will be getting this. Over the last few months, we've been gathering feedback associated with the game's performance. This translates to moments when you may see frame rate drops during activities or long load times when accessing a menu the team has been deep in the code looking for potential causes of these issues next week will be next week we'll have a few performance issues addressed in destiny's to update 2.7.1 that includes improved some performance issues in the chambers of suffering encounter actually i don't even know what i don't know if i've had any performance issues uh, I don't know about Chamber of Suffering. Fixed an issue where players could die when uh, translating from 
The necro pillows encounter to the tunnels of fear. I've had that issue. <clears throat> Assuming that's when you're like literally just transferring over into the next area and you just randomly die. Yeah. Yeah. So I've had that happen like a lot. Actually, I think that's probably ruined a few people's falls before. It doesn't count as a death. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, thank no. God. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Improved a performance issue that could occur when chunks of land returned are, are removing during the sacri sacrified mine encounter. Um, improved performance when receiving certain... Uh, investments related messages this could be rewarded position placing tributes or interacting with the obelisk uh the largest impact will be in the tower but this should help everywhere players who load into crucible matches whoops players who load into the crucible matches faster than their peers will no longer be put in the black screens rather they will remain in a oh that's kind of gee will remain in a space fight until all players have loaded into the match as before really see any issue there but i've actually been seeing a lot of black screens here lately since i've been playing a lot of crucible i don't know if you have all right some of the bigger ones that i know have really affected me and are really annoying they're actually going to be fixing the uh frame rate drops and the ui when loading or applying mods i've had this happen for a while now and it's been really annoying so i'm glad to see that get addressed uh, frame rate issues in Gambit and Gambit Prime. Don't play enough Gambit, so <laughs> I've never really seen that, but good to see that's getting fixed since that's something actually kind of competitive. Uh, frame rate issues during the Synchron Mine encounter of the Garden of Salvation raid. I don't know if I've noticed that. I feel like that's just so hectic. That might be more console than anything. Uh, frame rate issues in the Pit of Heresy dungeon, uh, specifically in the tunnel encounters. That's awesome. Kind of about that a little bit ago. And then general improvements to performance on PCs when I light up the breeze is on the ground. I don't know if I've had any of those issues either. Have you? Um, I don't know. I've just been having weird frame rate jumping around, like, everywhere, so... Maybe this will solve some of that. Maybe. All right. Well, our goal is to address these these at the beginning of the next <clears> season. <throat> these fixes may be delayed if further issues arise. We'll be sure to keep you updated. Hey, communication. As we approach season of... Uh, there are also other performance issues we're currently investigating that aren't listed above. If you've been encountering frame rate drops or stuttering issues during gameplay, please make sure to post a report to the help forums on Bungie.net. Please include what, which platform you're playing on, what activity you're in, and in a video if possible. Still need a... I haven't had the issue with launching here lately, but I haven't been fire team leader, so... I do need a... post in there again if that issue occurs all right patch note preview volume two last week we had a sh short and sweet preview of what's coming in destiny 2 update 0.7.1 well, hard light is creating some excitement we have a few more patch notes addressing quests seals exotic perks and more investment fixed an issue that is preventing Eris from granting her final war entry i had that issue you won't be having that issue anymore. Yeah, I was looking at my lore tabs. I'm like, how come I don't have her last lore? And then I'm looking around. I'm like, I don't have a quest from her anymore. Like, I, I guess this is what what is happening. That will be no longer a thing. All right, fixed an issue where the green and heavy quest was not progressing for some players. It's a rip. I feel like they've been working on this thing for like, yes, two months now. Uh, fix an issue where the playing the odds emblem was not unlocking correctly for players. This could prevent some players from fully unlocking the dredgen title. Ooh, that's a big oof right there. Um, hey! <laughs> Anybody that's uh, looking to get his Anagis, uh, improved black armory rare bounty acquisition. Um, that's actually huge. 
uh, chance increases as you complete <coughs> weekly and daily bounties. Guaranteed to drop from bounty completion after five days if completed all 801 bounties. That's kind of cool. That was always... I got kind of lucky with mine. I got mine, I think, on the second day trying to get it. And I got a fairly good one. But I hate when you put... If you're going to make a quest line and you're going to put RNG in it, I feel like that's kind of shitty. Alright, sandbox. Uh, fixed an issue where the heavy mod could trigger the Telesto bolts. Big if. Dude, what is up with Telesto, man? That gun has just been broken for... It's the most broken gun in Destiny. I, apparently, man. <laughs> just get rid of it. <clears throat> Alright, fix an issue where players could retain buffs from... Hey, Warm God. Uh... From the War God, Winter's Gill, and Sentinel Steps, even after swapping armor. Hey, that's finally getting addressed. Awesome. Uh, equip restrictions on Warm God and Winter's Gill will be lifted once the patch has shipped. We have a few more notes to share. Expect the full list on Tuesday when update 2.7.1 becomes available. Awesome. There's some nice changes coming for performance increases finally coming next week all right uh, I'm limited time. uh keeping track of every timetable and development could make your head spin uh luckily you have destiny player support at your service and they don't shy away from tasks known issues release timelines and more can be found below this is their report uh, passageway of the ages with the destiny community changing the timeline really uh, <laughs> quarters of time have become <clears throat> unstable and will only be available until the weekly reset on Tuesday January 28th which we talked about early in this podcast uh, players have until this time to collect the 19 the pigeon and, and the phoenix lore pieces and the savior of the past emblem along with a heartfelt message from Saint-14. Unlocking Bastion, we have noticed that some players are having issues getting their Bastion Exotic Fusion Rifle quest from Saint-14 to claim this quest. Players need to fully complete the Saint-14 storyline. This includes completing the following quests that can be claimed from Osiris, recovering the past, an impossible task, then completing an impossible task. <laughs> um... After completing these three quests and claiming their triumphs, players can visit Saint-14 in the tower to pick up the Momentum quest located in, this, in his inventory, which I still need to go pick up. Uh, players having issues may need to clear their console cache and fortify the integrity of their game files on Steam, then visit Saint-14. That would be kind of a weird thing to have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, update 2.7.1 Resolved issues Next Tuesday, January 28th We will release Destiny 2 Update 2.7.1 The update will resolve some issues Currently affecting players Here is another preview of some of the issues that will be resolved Players who have the Le Leviathan Breath Exotic Quest Will now be able to access the Arms Dealer Strike this Quest will become available to all season pass owners, regardless of which season pass they own. Players can pick this quest up from Banshee 44 in the tower courtyard after reaching power 800. That's kind of where they have to reach power 800. I think it's um, because of the power requirement for the arms dealer strike. Yeah. Uh, progress will now count toward the season <coughs> 9 challenge nine rituals in season 9. Uh, engagement triumphs and the requirements for each one have been reduced so they can be completed during the season of the dawn. Additionally, here's a timeline for Destiny 2 Update 2.7.1 release on Tuesday, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. Destiny 2 maintenance will begin. Players may experience sign on issues during maintenance. 45 a.m. Players will be removed from all activities and will be unable to log in until 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Destiny 2 update 2.7.1 will be released and players will be able to log in. 
11 a.m. Destiny 2 maintenance will end. <clears throat> Current known issues. Here's a list of the latest known issues that reported to us in our help form. Uh, I gotta sneeze. Okay, I'll take over. Uh, Ephrodite's Gift Triumph is an unlocking for players who collect 50 Iron Banner packages uh, from Lord Saladin. Uh, I had that issue before. They fixed it, and now it's broken again, so that's good. Uh, when resetting Infamy rank, uh, progress gets reset for the Get Closer step for the Green with Envy quest. Uh, Slendal Fractal Line Extractor 3 obtained from the Nessus Obelisk incorrectly states an increased chance to find uh, Fractal Line by completing Vanguard Strikes. The enhancement actually increases the chance to find Fractal Line by completing the Sundial and the Menagerie. Uh, uh Three, yeah, I know, right? It's like telling people, oh, go do the strikes. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. uh, the three dreaming tokens uh, given to players during the wish hunter quest sometimes do not all go into a player's inventory and cannot be reacquired on that character. So you're no longer getting that. Did we have somebody that had did. that issue? I think we, no, I don't think we did. I think they just were confused about what line they were on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Warlock's Arc Web. No longer chain lightning's enemies. Oh, rip. So, yeah, rip. And then we have movie of the week. And then that's a wrap. I haven't seen, yeah, I haven't seen any of the movies, so I don't know. I'm sure they're good. Uh, it says here, next week, Cosmo will bring some details concerning the Empyrean Foundation, which is Finally. under two weeks away. Because we know literally nothing about that, which is cool. Uh, right. I have a... The only rumor I've heard is that you want to save up at least 5,000 Fractal Line. Five? Can you even have 5,000? Yes. I have nearly 2,000. Oh, I'm thinking something else, okay. Yeah, you're I, thinking something else. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, about. I don't know what I'm thinking. I know you're 5,000. Raid banners? Okay. <laughs> oh. 5,000 raid banners? Might be good. You can't get enough rain matters, one. man. <laughs> <laughs> we might be we might be Gucci on that, so bring those uh five thousand raid banners. Alright. Got you. Um so that's gonna be a podcast. Sully, where can the people find you? Uh you can find me on Twitch, Mixer, Twitter, and on Instagram at <clears throat> Sully underscore underscore games. And you can find me your host Thomas on Twitter, CSG Thomas. Also on Twitch as Kane Plays Stuff. You can check us out here at charshot.com for audio, video, or written content. And uh, you can email me, thomas at charshot.com. We're on Twitch, 